Hey guys and welcome. I hope everyone is doing uh, well out there. In um, today's uh, Photoshop video, I'm going to show you how I created this uh, this type effect. Um, it only took a couple of steps to achieve, and it was very simple and easy to do. So uh, let me show you how the step-by-step -step process I took to to get this effect. Also, uh, if you like this video, uh, please consider uh, subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell icon to be notified of more videos I'll be putting up very soon. So to get started, uh, this is the one I've already done. So I've already put it into a group, uh, into a folder. I'm going to create a new folder now. Then I'm going to start up with the type. You can use any type you want. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is on the type layer, I'm going to right click and convert uh, to shape. Then I'm going to use the lasso tool to make the cut. So I, in the for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to rush through this. You can take your time and decide where you want to place the cut, etc. Or where you want the cut to happen. That's it there. So I'm going to have the cut to happen there. Then I'm going to do is apply a layer mask. And now it sees it's already uh, separated um, uh, the, the top from the bottom. Now, this first one, I'm going to call this the top. And I'm going to right click and duplicate it. And I'm going to remove the, the word copy there. And the bottom one, I'm going to call bottom. Now, I'm going to, to, to reveal the bottom, I'm going to write, I'm going to click on the layer mask. Command I because I'm using a Mac to to reveal it so the opposite opposite way and then I want to use the move tool click on the top and with the arrows or the mouse I can just move the top obviously make it so it's you know readable or readable so that you know what the word is not too much now that's it I want to add a color to this so I'm just going to double click on this go into color overlay. I'm going to keep it at green. Double click on the bottom, go to color overlay, and I'll change it to a red. Now I'm going to duplicate the bottom one. And I'm going to double click on that and change the color to maybe a purple. Bring down the opacity to about 50. And then with the with the move tool, just move it to wherever you like. Again, I'm going to do the top one. I'm going to right click, duplicate, double click, uh, and color overlay. I'm going to change it to maybe an orange. And with the tool, move tool, I'm just going to move it and bring down the opacity. That's it, guys. That's how simple it is. Now you can, you know, add other effects to what if you like, um, and then save it and uh, use it if you like. That's simple as that. I hope you got something out of that. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, don't forget to comment below and let me know what, you, what your thoughts about it is. And also, like I said before, uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps in uh, YouTube. Thanks for watching.